Guess who's back? Still smell all on my clothes, all pummy robes, all pummy guards, all pummy wares, all pummy clothes. It's your boy SFJ, Screwface John, Fizza Fizza, Ash Steph, and not Ash Steph, SF. And uh, doing one of those uh, move around blogs today. We on a little bit of a mission, you know what I mean? Try to get this auto tune locked in and squared out. But that has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now, all right? Um, yesterday, Nas dropped his album that was produced by Kanye Chitta. You know, on this whole, I don't know what to call these uh, these seven songs, uh, this seven song wave that Ye has been on, but the whole entire good music, st- is Nas on good music? Someone put that in the comment section below, but the whole good music staff has been on this uh, seven Dragon Ball um, little little track listing thing they're doing, and I'm actually not mad at it at all because it makes it where it's a little it's it's easier to digest and th- therefore easier to play uh, over again. And I feel like how people be stream trolling now, how they'll have like you know Ray Shimmer to drop 30 songs as one project, or Chris Brown to drop 50 joints as one project. Honestly, I think for, which may work, but I think for stream trolling, that is better. Think about it, because Ray Sherman has 30 songs. I remember when that album dropped, and there's people like putting out memes where it's like, by the time you get to the end of the Ray Sherman thing, it's like a skeleton with cobwebs on it and stuff. So it's like, in one day, I don't think you'll even get to the, because nobody is just sitting there listening to that many hours of the same music. Nobody has that much time to dedicate to just listening to music. But if you have seven songs, it's easy to be like, boom, you get through it. It's 15 minutes of music and you play it again, you play it again, and you play it again. It's replay value. But that's a long way to get around to say that I did the reaction to Nas's album yesterday. And I, with no exaggeration, it got the between the, the cops reaction and between the um what are you looking for nigga you said the cops i got nervous no that's a song oh (laughs) between uh uh what's it called not the uh nas and kanye's the the cops and uh what's it called the others uh and the album uh, uh uh brain fart and the album review it's gotten well over 10,000 views so this is like one of my fastest growing um Reviews next to Chloroseptic. Now, we all know Chloroseptic's the GOAT. Chloroseptic's at like 64,000 right now, so we ain't even gonna talk. But anyway, with that, show me that you guys are super hungry for Nas content, at least about this album. So I will deliver, and it makes sense. It's a lyrical channel. We, you know, we got, we like people who can rap a lot of you. Know, we, we Eminem fans and stuff like that. So it makes sense of Nas. I, the only Nas song I've ever done was Ether, and that got good views too. So these are my final thoughts of the Nasir album. Just free balling. No, no, uh, note written down. Nothing. It's kind of just off the tops. Here's what I'm gonna say. Now, I grew up with uh, my older brother is a huge Nas fan. And for for the majority of our childhood, when Nas was brought up, it was because we were debating Nas and Jay-Z. I'm like the big Jay-Z head. He's like the big Nas head. So I used to, oh, it got to the point where I think I don't like Nas as much as I do because of my older brother. But... I've never been, and you guys are going to kill me for this, I've never been the hugest Nas fan. Now, I respect what he does, right? I respect his talent. I respect how he gets down. I respect all of that. But I've always thought he was boring. Let's just call a spade a spade, right? I've always said that Jay is like the entertaining Nas. It's like the cool version of Nas is how, how how I felt it. But that's neither here nor there. That's for the comment section below. But what I'm saying is that I've said that because I've always thought Nas is, besides Illmatic and here and there, and I know Vlad said this, but this is something that I've been feeling for. This is one of the key arguments that I would use against my older brothers. Like, Nas's beats be gabo, be garbo. It's the only person that I know who made a single, made a big single, Hip Hop Is Dead. 
and made that the lead single to his album and then the next single was the same beat bruh come on like i feel like that's just like insulting my intelligence at that point at that point it sounds like you just feel like you could drop anything and people will, will consume it which they did because you're nas but you know i don't want this to sound like i'm i'm, I'm crapping on nas because you know nas is like an afrocentric asian half man half amazing and i think just subconsciously by osmosis I, you would think that I don't know a lot about Nas, but through being around my older brother, I know a lot about Nas, more than I even understood why I know it, but I understand now. Now, the Nas, I said a long diatribe to say this. The Nasir album, to me, production-wise, fagwa, fire. The production, to me, was exactly what Nas has always needed in my eyes. Like an element... He's been missing. Now, Nas can rap. Nas can rap. That's that's neither here nor there. That's obvious. But you got to have the production right. And Tamir Nasir's production was crazy. And it made a lot of Nas... It made Nas be able to try different kinds of flows, get in different pockets. Not super different, but different enough where it was entertaining. And it wasn't like the same exact thing. Now, Nas's content, when it comes to what he's saying... You're always gonna get some gems off of it. You're always gonna get some jewels. What I was most excited about in this project was Nas's willingness to not, I hate it when people, cause when people hear modernize the sound, it makes it sound like you're trying to chase something. But more than modernize the sound, it's more like he found the, 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 the pocket that works. And, and people need to stop looking at like modernizing your sound as conforming because if people came, if some, if a rapper came right now and used a, I said a hip hop, a hippie, a hippie to the, and was spelling his name, my name is A to the E to the A and a B to the C to the Y. Like if you were doing that, regardless of if, if in 1986, that would have been fire. You can't sit here and, and be mad at people for not liking that. You can't be like, well, in 1986, this was fire. But he's like, come on, bro. That's why all these people who argue like about the new generation and the old heads saying that, it's like they don't believe what they're saying because they don't even, they don't even incorporate what they're saying. Because, and this is kind of a tangent, but I, I want to say it. I was watching the Vlad TV interview yesterday with Lord Jamar. And it literally, the interview literally starts with them talking about, man, nowadays it just seems like rappers will do you know b buy cars and jewelry and go on ig and flex for attention and to give a type of image and for some reason people eat that up i don't understand what's wrong with this new generation and literally by the end of the conversation they were talking about why rock him was so dope because he dressed like a drug dealer and because he hung around real street dudes and because he was icy and that's when I was just like, oh, okay, so y'all don't even listen to yourselves talk. That's why I just like, hip hop ain't changed. Hip hop hasn't, nothing in hip hop has changed. It's just gone to the next level. And in 10 years, it's gonna go to the next level. So somebody like Nas maybe is starting to understand that a little bit more. And it's not about conforming to a sound. It's more about, I'm not a hippie to the hip hip hoppity. Because think about it. In 1996, right? Pop died in 1996. So let's say 20 years before then, hip hop wasn't even invented. 20 years before, 20 years before Tupac died, hip hop wasn't even invented, especially on the mainstream. So could you imagine, and that, could you imagine if in Tupac's era, somebody was rapping like, <laughs> oh, the fly ladies, and doing that stuff? Could you imagine that? Everybody in that era, do you really think Ice Cube, Tupac, they were making fun of MC Hammer back then. You really think they would have let somebody come through and do that? Nah. So why would you expect in 2018, 20 years ago was 18 years ago was 2000. It wasn't even the 90s. 20 years ago was, what, 98? So why would somebody rapping like 98 right now which is especially what all the old heads want everybody to rap. Why would somebody rap like 98 and 2000 when in 1996, somebody rapping like 1986, would you would have, y'all would have threw him at, y'all were killing Kwame because of polka dots. What are we talking about? 
But this video going a little, up a little bit longer than I want it to be and the lighting is getting weird. So I will say, the Nasir album, my final thoughts, was dope. This to me, I will say that the N-word and um, Hip Hop is Dead are two of my favorite Nas albums now. I, and I know uh, I'm not like the biggest Nas head and to Nas head be like, what? That would be like Kingdom Come being your favorite Jay-Z album. But there, I could say that the reason why I like that is because of nostalgia and because I was in high school when that happened and one of my best friends just always listened to that album. So it's just, it, it, it's not probably because it's better than any other album, just because the moments that I shared with it were a little better. So put in the comment section below, do you want uh, a, a, a full length Nas album? Are you excited about this new seven song method? And what did you think about the Nasir album? Hmm? My name is Screw. I'm pretty freaking awesome, but I wouldn't be nothing without you, the SFJ Nation. Make sure you guys go check out my um, new uh, song, the video to Bullets I just dropped yesterday. Already to a thousand views. Shout out to you guys, man. It's, it's, it's getting dope that you guys support my rapping just as much as you support the reactions because I'm an artist first, really just doing the reactions to get the name out there. But build the audience and having a lot more fun with it. But yeah, go check that out. And then after you check that out, go check it out on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Pandora, uh, Apple Music, wherever you get your music from, it'll be there. Just type in S-C-R-U space, F-A-C-E space, J-E-A-N. We out of here.